Hello friends and dear students. We are going to discuss in today's video lesson the most important topic tenses. I am pretty sure this video will help you in all aspects. In this video all together we will discuss what is a tense and the kinds of tenses, form and uses of tenses, examples for easy understanding. What is a tense? Tense is a change in the form of the verb. It shows the time of an action or event. Basically, there are three tenses in English grammar. They are broadly categorized in three types. The first one present tense, second one past tense, and the last category future tense. My dear friends, again each tense can be classified into four subcategories. Totally, they are 12 in number. Along with these four basic words, simple, continuous, perfect, perfect, continuous, the three tenses will form in 12 tenses. Let's look the chart of the tenses. In this chart, we have all together 12 tenses along with these examples. Friends, let's we look in depth each tense one by one. The first one, simple present tense. The formula is of course, it is known as form and formula. The form subject plus verb base form. Sometimes the verb takes S or ES and object. Example. Example. I walk every day in the morning. I walk every day in the morning. Another example. Pavan walks every day in the morning. Friends. In the second sentence, the verb takes S because Pavan is a singular name. If the subject is a singular, the verb takes S or ES. In this chart, we have the details of verb S and ES. If the subject is I, you, we, they, the subject, if the subject is plural, the verb doesn't take yes or es form. For example, I walk, you walk. And if the subject is singular, like he, she, it, or any name, walks, he walks, she drinks, he plays, she goes, and he watches. See here, friends, first three verbs all the verbs takes S forms and the last two verbs takes ES. When should we add ES to the verb? Note, ES should be added to the verbs which end with the letter CH, SS, SH, X, Z, Z. If it ends with wo, GO, it takes ES, goes, GOES, watch, watches, dish, wash washes and here in this table we have detailed usage and examples when should we use simple present tense so the usage the simple present tense use used for habits or habitual actions example i go to college every day she walks 
every morning like that and second one expressing universal truths the sun rises in the east the earth rotates around the sun like this express theories and principles water freezes at 0 degree centigrade the simple present tense also used for tell proverbs honesty is the best policy the same tense also used for indicate future events prime minister leaves for london the same tense also used in commentary of different games like cricket football and other games etc example virat hits the ball and the ball reaches the boundary the same simple present tense also used for newspaper headlines example man enters the space friends for every tense a bottom of the tense we have keywords we have keywords like this and on the basis of these keywords we can identify which tense is the simple present tense keywords are always usually daily regularly frequently every day every sunday every monday or every month every year every week like that and we can move on to the second subcategory present continuous tense the form of present tense present continuous tense subject is or am or are verb first form and in form example it's raining now another example i am writing a letter friends if you find here is is used in a first example because it is a singular pronoun i am writing a letter so here am is used for i so obviously i'll take am as an auxiliary in this table we have in detail which subject and take which auxiliary and how the verb changes example i am writing it is obviously present continuous he she or it is writing he is writing she is writing you we they for these are all we treat as plural you are writing we let's we have the chart for present continuous tense usage with their suitable examples when should we use present continuous tense the present continuous tense is used to express an action going on at the time of speaking for example he is writing a letter they are playing cricket and also present continuous tense describe an action that is start taking place now prudhvi is working in america and also an action planned for the future i am going to mumbai tomorrow for the planned actions also we can use present continuous tense the same tense describe a temporary activities example geeta is learning swimming to emphasize the frequency of an action one of usage usages the infant baby is always crying for no reason to describe changing the situation the price of petrol is increasing rapidly just observe friends note here we should not use the following verbs in present continuous tense example smell hear notice want love hate and etc we have keywords also 
for the present continuous tense for easily understanding. At present, at this time, at this moment, look, listen, see, observe, don't disturb. So with these keywords, we can identify any kind of tense that is surely we can talk about the present continuous tense. Third one, present perfect tense. Form is subject plus has or have verb third form and object. Example, Shiva has reached home safe. Another example, I have studied English. In this chart, we have which auxiliary and how the verb changes along with the subject. I have played. So have is used for I and you, we, they here. Second one, he, she, it. It takes has auxiliary. He has played. She has played. Okay. It has rained. You know, you, we, they. You have played. We have played. And they have played. So, you can understand easily with the help of this chart. We have another chart. When should we use present perfect tense with that usage and example? The present perfect tense is used to express recent actions or event. For example, Hari has completed his project. Also this same tense describes the past event that has importance now. Venki has traveled around the world. The present perfect tense used for just completed actions. I have finished my breakfast. The same tense used to express some past experience. I have studied in the school. The keywords are for present perfect tense. Just, just now, recently, just now, already, so, so far, at. Let's move on to the next tense, last subcategory of the present tense, present perfect continuous tense. The form is subject plus has or have been along with the base form of the verb and in form. Example, Virat has been playing for India. I have been reading a novel. So here, Virat is a singular noun. It takes has plus been and verb in form. Virat has been playing. So we have a detailed part in this chart. I have playing. I have been playing. This is obviously present perfect continuous. He, she, it, it takes has been. He, he has been playing. She has been playing like you have been playing. They have been playing. We have been playing. So we have the usage and examples chart here as well. The present perfect continuous tense is used for actions that started in the past are still going on. For example, Lakshmi has been working in Hyderabad since 2017. An action that has finished but that result in the present. Example, they have been watering the plants. To talk about the repeated actions up to now, Rohit has been playing cricket since he was 11. That means he is still playing. The keywords for present perfect continuous tense since for long all the time all the day all the week and we move on to the next category simple past tense what is the form of simple past tense subject plus verb verb second form and object very simple example they were friends here only the auxiliary verb indicates the sentence is purely in simple past. We saw the film yesterday. We saw, see, saw, the second form of the verb. 
and we have the detailed chart all together usages example simple past tense is to express completed actions in the past example india got freedom in 1947 it is absolutely completed action she got she bought a car last year so for completed actions we should use simple past also it is used to describe a series of completed actions in the past after i finished my work i went to shopping and i bought new dresses so a series of actions also simple past tense used to express past habits when i was young i used to swim every day here we have keywords ago yesterday before before yesterday last day last monday last month last year in 1947 and we can move on to the second subcategory of the past tense past continuous tense what is the form of past continuous tense subject plus was were plus v1 ing form example they were writing exam yesterday at this time i was sleeping when you called me here we have the detailed chart when should we use the past continuous tense the past continuous tense is used for ongoing action in the past example i was learning car driving for two weeks to describe parallel actions when we reached the station the train was leaving the platform to describe parallel actions so here two actions will take place also the same tense to express interrupted action in the past they were playing before the bell rang we have another chart how the subject takes the verb i e she it wa it will take was was working and we have the keywords as well past for past continuous tense yesterday at this time yesterday at 7 pm last sunday at this moment and we can move on to the next subcategory of the past tense past perfect tense what is the form of past perfect subject plus had and verb third form example the patient had died before the doctor came so had plus verb 3 the patient had died before the doctor came he had already left when we arrived and we have the same chart as well for this past perfect tense usage the past perfect tense is used to describe an action finished before another past action we had finished a dinner before my father came also the same past perfect is use is denote an action that happened before a specific time in the past prasad had never been to singapore before he got job the same past perfect to describe cause and effect example she got in the traffic she got in this traffic because there had been an accident and here in the same which subject will take which auxiliary and the verb change as well i had worked he had worked she had worked you had worked for all subjects here the auxiliary had should be added for all the subjects and the verb changes verb third form the keywords for past perfect before after while and the last subcategory of the past tense past past tense that is past perfect continuous tense the form of past perfect continuous subject plus had been plus base form of the verb and in form example varun had been acting 
Ismail had been watching too many films when he was young. So here we have the usage and examples for past perfect continuous. The past perfect continuous is to denote an action that began before a certain point. Sheila had been learning French for two years by 2020. Also the same tense to describe the cause of something in the past. John was tired because he had been running for half an hour. The same past perfect continuous is used to express the duration before something in the past. Priyanka needed a holiday because she had been working hard all the week. Friends, we have the subject and how the verb changes in the chart as well. I had been working, she had been working and he had been working. So there is no verb change pattern here for all the subjects. Even for plural, you, we, they had been working. And the keywords are since, before. Yes. Next, we move on to the last category of the simple future tense. What is the form of simple future? Subject plus will or shall plus object along with the verb base form. Example, we shall meet tomorrow. Siddhu will go to London next year. So we have the usage and examples here for the simple future. The simple future tense is used for future actions. Olympic Games will start in Japan in 2021. For unplanned future actions, for example, the, moon, the monsoons will come soon. For thoughts and predictions, assumptions, we should use simple future. I think it will rain this evening. Friends, so how the verb changes along with their subjects we have in the in this chart here. For I and V subjects, the auxiliary will take a shall. I shall meet, we shall meet. And next, you, he, she, it, they, the auxiliary will take in place. He, you will go. She will go, he will go like this. And we have the keywords important here. Tomorrow, next day, next week, next month, next year, in 2025. And next subcategory of future continuous tense. Subcategory of future tense. The future continuous tense. The form of future continuous Subject plus will or shall, verb 1 and inform. Example, I shall be writing exam. Second example, Moni will be playing a match. When should we use future continuous tense? The future continuous tense is used to express actions in the progress at a specific time in the future. Indian cricket team will be playing World Cup in 2024. So it is future action. To describe interrupted actions in the future. When you come tomorrow, she will be writing an exam. Let's we have the subject and the verb chart here. I and we subjects will take the auxiliary shall. I shall be going. We shall be going. And you will be watching, he will be watching, it will be watching. The keywords are tomorrow at this time, next day at this moment, next week the same time. Next tense is feature perfect tense. The form is subject plus will or shall plus have and verb 3. Example, I shall have finished my homework by this evening. Another example we have here, Rani will have written IIT entrance exam by 2022. 
So we have future perfect tense usage here. The same tense is used to talk an action that will finish before a certain time in the future. Example, my uncle will have arrived in India by this time tomorrow. We have the subject and the verb changes chart here. The subjects I and V take shall auxiliary and have gone. I shall have gone. We shall have gone. And you will have completed. He shall, he will have completed. She will have completed. The keywords for future perfect. By this time tomorrow. By the end of the year. By the next week. By the next year. The last subcategory of the future tense. Future perfect continuous tense. The form is subject will or shall have plus been plus verb first form. Example, she will have been traveling to New York. I shall have been working in Microsoft by the year 2024. So these are the future predictions. And we have the usage and examples as well here. The future perfect continuous tense is used to show that something will continue up until a particular time. Professor Ravi Narayan will have been teaching at the university for a year by the time he leaves Europe. And we have another chart here for the future perfect continuous tense, how the subject will change and it takes which auxiliary and how the verb changes. These this is a future perfect continuous tense. The keywords for for since. So friends, thank you very much for your precious time. I'll catch you later in next video.